Hi, I'm Kristen St. Clair, crafter at Martha Stewart Living. We love Halloween here, and these hand-painted butterfly wings are simple to create and perfect for Halloween. Here's what you need. White fabric, a template, scissors, long sleeve t-shirt, pins, multi-surface craft paint, a paint palette, water, a sponge, salt, a needle, and thread. Here with me is Taylor Orman, who is a contestant on Shrieker Chic, Martha's Oat Halloween Costume Challenge. I'm so excited to be here I'm today. happy to have you. So we've teamed up to create these butterfly wings, and Taylor is going to show us how to paint on them, right? Yep. I have a strong fine arts background, and so I want to paint. Maybe I'll use them in my costume. Who knows? I'm really excited to find out how you do it, your techniques. I've created a pattern for the butterfly wings, and what I've done is folded a piece of brown paper in half and drew a shape of a butterfly wing. And what's great about folding it in half is you'll have two symmetrical sides. Yeah. So we are going to transfer this onto fabric. Yeah, today we're using a poly satin, but you can also use an old bed sheet that's lying around. So. So, so it's really inexpensive and perfect for Halloween. So we are just going to keep our paper folded and our fabric folded as well and line it up on the fold of the fabric and just pin the template into the fabric. So are you coming up with ideas for your costume, Taylor? Yeah, I'm just thinking, what am I going to do? Maybe I'll use this technique, who knows? All pinned and now we're going to cut the wings out. This is a really easy very minimal sewing project. You need a few supplies. Like you said, you could use a bed sheet, so you don't even need to go and buy fabric. Amazing. Okay, so we can unpin. And so this shape we designed to fit a four-year-old child. And if you want to do this for your child or for yourself, what you can do is measure your wingspan and create the template so that it will go from one wrist to the other wrist. We're ready to start painting. I'm so excited. Taylor, what is your technique? Well, it's super easy. All you need is sponge and water and some salt. It's just really organic. So always start with the light colors because you can always get darker, but you can't get lighter. So you want to build it up. And the great thing about this, don't be afraid to get really just organic and natural. It's not a really precise technique. You just really feel it. Pick get, my lightest some, color. I'm going to go with this turquoise just go blue. for it. So I can see it's water is making it spread out. It yep. almost gives it a kind of watercolor effect. And this so. is actually a really good thing for your kids to get involved in. Yeah. I imagine when I was a kid, I would have loved to sponge paint. I think I'm ready for my second color. I think I could do it too. So have you met Martha yet? I have. It was so exciting. I actually, I did not recognize her. She was in the makeup. Were you nervous? Uh, I was shell shocked. So I, I really don't even know what I was feeling. You're definitely ready for the salt. Oh, so really? So just season your work, just like you would season a piece of meat. Just a dash. Okay. And you just sprinkle it on and leave it on for a bit or short. The longer you leave it on, the longer it will spread the paint. Um, ah. And it'll give it an even further speckled effect. Nice. Right? That's an interesting technique. Right, it's fun. My salt is already starting to yeah. work. Yeah, I it see, really is. Look around here, all the speckles. It works best with a darker color. The longer you leave it, the longer it will spread the paint. Okay. So just experiment. I think I'm done. Me too. So we can just let these dry yeah. here, right? And then when they're all dry, rinse them off, wash off that excess salt. So the next step is attaching it to a t-shirt. Our wings are dry and oh looking God. fabulous. So I have a little bit of a frayed edge on mine. I'm just going to trim it off a little bit to clean it up. And then we can attach it to a shirt. So like I said, it's a size 4 shirt. If you're using a shinier fabric like we are, you want to attach the matte side to the back, just so you show the luster of the fabric. And I actually picked out some neon thread. Oh, perfect! So that it would match your paint colors and kind of camouflage in there. You won't awesome. see it. Center it right on the back. Maybe like about, what is that, two and a half inches? I'd say two, two and a half. I'll secure it with a okay. pin. Team effort. So you want to do the center first. Taylor's okay. just going to tack it just down. Just tack it on real quick. You probably don't need that many little tacks. We can stitch it. A, a couple on the top side and a couple on the bottom side. Now we're just going to finish it off by tacking on the sleeve. Taylor, I just love this costume. Look at it. How adorable is that? I think I might be a butterfly for Halloween. Me too. So Taylor, where can we watch you? Well, you can find the show at MarthaStewart.com slash Shriek or Chic and make sure to hashtag Shriek or Chic. 
And I think this costume is quite chic. I think it's pretty chic too.